Hey everyone, Steph here, and welcome to Astra Overview. This video will show you the prime example of how the project's execution can just literally transpire me into the rage mode. And that's basically the danger of mixed reality because everyone has like a different setup and capabilities to use it in their own environment. So you can't create a project of that sort without a flawless execution, which this is gonna be a showcase of that. <laughs> so Astra is a mixed reality space adventure game where you'll embark on a mission to the deepest corners of the cosmos, visiting planets and moons in search of anything alive and make sense of your personal loss. I'll essentially talk about my experience because I've not managed to really see anything. I saw that I'm not alone in the problems I've had, so it's not like I've completely failed here, but what have happened is that the game has huge boundaries issues, meaning you can set up your space properly and I've tried in a different settings, but the interactional objects that make you progress through the story are a complete disaster, whether being out of your actual boundaries you've set up which makes no sense being somehow below the floor so you can't even reach it with your hands and just being a complete mess in the mixed reality department i will say that the whole spaceship and cockpit situation is implemented rather well there's some nice design going on but then the space itself isn't necessarily that impressive and i didn't really see the planet so overall i'm kind of disappointed especially coming from the makers of madrid noir I think what went wrong here is just going for the MR concept cause conceptually it's something way way harder to make instead of VR and it's not something that you can just throw in together and hope for the best which is exactly what's happening here and even though the overall project might be polished if the experience is a struggle instead of something pleasant then no one will care for it at the end of the day. I don't feel bad because I've tried my best to make it work, but essentially it's just out of my competences. Let's go discover the spaceship. I'm like sweating from all the setups with the boundaries, guardians and just... The bullshit essentially. I think now it's gonna work. But just know that it's a struggle to even get into the game. <laughs> oh my god, what now? This bullshit disappears. I just need this... ...tape. <laughs> I can't. And now it's under my floor, like what the hell mate? I can't do little shit here. It's just that this goddamn box... You can't move or adjust where you want it to be. Help me! Okay, I... I'm over it, <laughs> pretty much. But... I'm flying in my space. But now I need hand tracking to work, please. I just do hand tracking controls, like I don't give a fuck anymore. I just need this and a tape, I think. I don't know. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. One, two, three. This is Natalie Vita. It is February 2nd, 1993. <clears throat> this is a message for future worlds and faraway beings. Maybe you are one of them. We search for life in lands near and far. Beyond Earth, up there in the heavens, await alien worlds. I've traveled the universe through the eyes of our telescopes observed distant stars, planets, and moons without ever touching them. But one day, we won't just stare at these places from afar and wonder. One day we will walk on other worlds. Oh 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so I guess I mean like a living room spaceship. Welcome to the Space Travel Bureau, your ticket to the stars. At Astra, exploration begins here. Welcome aboard. The entire universe waits. Hello? Hi, I'm Nori, your non-organic robotic intelligence. I'll show you how everything works. Follow me. I'll stay in place, thank you. Navigate the solar system by selecting your destination on the control panel. <laughs> Damn it. Maybe I can adjust now because... Well, I need to go back into the main menu, of course. Okay, Jesus, this is such a struggle. So where do we need to go? Touch the go button to travel to Jupiter. Is this a loaded screen? Ah uh, no, I'm actually moving. I mean the impression is nice with splitting the space. Come on! <laughs> it's just constantly me moving on this video. <laughs> what I don't understand is that this is clearly a wall, but the teleport is like after it, so... Now that's not even my fault. And it is now even more like outside of my boundary. Yeah, I mean, I'm like done. I'll just try to judge what's happening here, but other than that, it's just a fucking gutter. There's not much to talk about this experience because it's impossible for people who have low amount of space available for mystery reality stuff. There were games that managed to use efficiently your whole environment and then transform it completely to its needs. But this is definitely not the one. It doesn't matter what setup you're doing, it's just predetermining what it wants. So I can't support that. In terms of the visual quality, the space itself is a bit blurry with the stars. I've seen better, and the planet is an asset, like there's not much detail going on. I do like the overlay with the spaceship, it seems nice. Some resolutions, a bit low, but it is what it is. I don't know how much footage I've shown actually, but I really tried to make it work, but it's just not happening today. Sucks or not, I don't feel like I've lost anything. 